What's going on, everybody? Did you hear? Bring more V-Pets. It's been a few days, guys, since I last put out a video. I just need a little bit of a break because uh, everything's been going. There's been so much going on recently, um, you know, with life and with the Digimon world and the V-Pet community. Um, there's just so much things happening all at once. I just need a little bit of a break. And thankfully, uh, or unfortunately, uh, these guys died in that time. Um, they only have, like, I think, I guess, total three stages. Uh, maybe fourth if you get uh, you can unlock a special form, but uh, let me show you our the deaths and then we'll go over the, what else has been happening guys So as you say see here's it says uh, Which means like, congratulations. Um, they died all of them died. Uh, I think on Thursday Thursday or Friday sometime they died. I just kind of wasn't paying attention to them and they died because they were starving and wanted to play games, but I was just kind of not really feeling it. Um, so I think the next time, or we're going to do a little bit later today in a bit, we're just going to be running one of them. Uh, because, while well, they are not very, um, uh, very needy in a sense, in some ways, they are, I feel like they're needy in another way. We're like, uh, so they'll start beeping when you're not, uh, you know, just randomly kind of, I feel like. I mean, I'm sure there's something that's in there, but they'll start beeping because they want to play or they want to eat. But it's and it's kind of hard to tell which one it is. Um, but usually you do one or the other, and they'll be fine for a little bit. But I want to just focus on one next this time. Uh, so this time I'm gonna just only use one, and we'll see how that goes. Um, here's some showing you some pics of you know when they died. When they are dying, they're just uh, kind of hanging off to the side of the screen, to the right side of our screen, the right our right the side. They're hanging over there, and then you just hit the uh, A button, and then all of a sudden, like you know, they kind of get called up. It's not, it's not really like a sad goodbye. I mean, I there's like a few, a couple of uh, sad tones, I think, or just some tones, I guess. And then all of a sudden, like you know, there's a few flashes of kind of uh, some cinematics, and then they kind of get get pulled up into the sky. <laughs> uh, so I feel like it's not really that sad. There, it's more like they're happy to leave actually I don't know that's what it's, that's what it seems like when they're dying okay guys on these ones um, so we'll we'll try another one I think I'm gonna use the uh, use the uh, Shinji one cuz uh, I feel like this one I got some scratches on it already <laughs> or so so I'm gonna use this one dust um, so I'm gonna use just one of them so I can take care of it the you know as, as much as I can and play as many games as I can on that um, so, um, we'll start this one. Let's see, how do we start? That's the clock. Yes, we hit the two. Nope. Learning experience, guys. How do we start a new egg? Because usually on the Digimon ones, you press two buttons at the same time, and you restart it. Press A and C together. Hmm. There we are, a little fetus. Alright, back on the fetus grind. Feed it quick. Again, I'm not too sure uh, what the different foods do. I'm just feeding it however I see fit. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to take 24 hours to turn into the next form, the cocoon stage. And then it's going to be in the cocoon stage for a few hours and turn into the next stage. During that time, we'll be playing some, a lot of games. Uh, we have until 8 p.m. This thing goes to sleep at 8 p.m., so we have a bit of time. And I'm trying to play as many games and feed it and take care of it best I can and see what I get. Okay, guys? Alright, on to the other stuff. Uh, so, this weekend, or this past week, uh, we also got the new uh, pre orders for the Digivices, the reboot Digivice or Digivice colon. Um, it was available, it's, it's still available. You can still pre order it. Uh, if you're not in the US, you can still pre order from uh, Premium Bandai in Japan, if you're in Japan, or Premium Bandai in Singapore. Uh, or you can use a proxy. Uh, which I was going to, but then um, I decided not to because I was just going to go straight for the Japan you want. 
just so I didn't have to think about it. Uh, unfortunately, Japan Yuma is out now. They had 100 pre-orders of them and sold out within uh, not even, well, it, like less than 24 hours. Less than 24 hours, they sold out. Uh, ooh, another news. Uh, so we apparently there is a re-release of the Wave 1s in Japan. Uh, let's see, more like this one. There is a re-release of the Wave 1s in Japan. Um, which is the which is just the brown one and the gray one and we don't know exactly if, what's going to be on it but it says it's going to be the same as the original release because it's called revival release original revival um, so it looks the same but it costs a lot more because <laughs> uh, this one is the, uh, the English GM20 wave one which I, I got for twenty dollars only uh, this one I think I got at GameStop when it came out um, but compared to the one that's coming in Japan, which is the same thing, it just costs way too much. Uh, please don't order it, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm tempted to order it just to show you guys, but um, I don't want to waste that much money because uh, I got some, a lot of bills coming soon. <laughs> and yeah, I can't afford it. Like, I've been spending so much money in Digimon Pets, guys. It's crazy. And then, you know, we've still got more coming later this year, too. Uh, it's gonna be a lot guys. It's 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 quite a year. I mean this month alone I spent a lot of money on d-pads. Hopefully I can get some return on them But I will have a link in the description below you can actually buy the new uh, Digivice um, You know the, sorry going back to the Digivice you can you can buy the new Digivice on the website on the premium Bandai US website Although it's gonna be a few months later than Jap Japanese release and then as for these ones, these ones are also out, came around the same time, but they're not selling like hotcakes at all, because, you know, why would you pay $40 for the, $45 for this when you can just buy it for $20 on Amazon? Uh, so, uh, link in the description down below where to go buy it. Um, otherwise, I'm planning on making a video soon of how to do a proxy, uh, show people how to use a proxy to order, uh, you know, uh, Digimon V-Pet or Digimon Digivice from Japan. Um, working and I think that would be I think a lot of people will like that video because there might be a lot of people out there who don't know who don't have these uh, effects or information um, what else came out uh, ooh there was um, the new uh, Digimon Re Digimon Adventure colon uh, it started again it came uh, last Saturday night for us in the US um, it was a great episode uh, don't want to spoil it too much. You know, well, we already know that there's going to be Bergeron in there because of the title. Uh, Bergeron is pretty cool. I love the whole everything that's mostly about the episode. Um, didn't care too much about Stegomon. I mean, you already saw Stegomon too towards the end of the third episode, but I feel like I'm done with him for the next next season until the next season because. There's just, I, I just, you just see him so much <laughs> in the episode. That's just my thought. It was great seeing him. You know, it's a Digimon you don't actually get to see that much. But it's just, come on, man. Like, that was way too much screen time for a minor Digimon like that, I think. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what are your thoughts, guys? Uh, what are your thoughts on the, you know, new episode down below? Leave them in the comments. Um, did you guys pre order the new V Pad at all? I mean, the new Digivice? at all um i did i pre-ordered one only i mean i was thinking about getting two but um i don't want to be too greedy <laughs> and plus money might be but tight soon i gotta fix something in my car so yeah uh stuff coming up soon life <laughs> uh yeah I got a lot of work this week um gotta run this guy uh gonna do some mini games right now show you again so to do games we go to the simulation down here. Uh, this is the battle one. The battle one, you just left the middle one. You just go, you kind of just dodge whatever is dropping on top. Sometimes I feel like it's really tight already. Sorry, I feel like my thumb's in the way too. There you go. And that's that game. Also, I chose this one because it has a nice, easy button for some reason. It's like already worked in. Uh, this is the other one where you're shooting. Practice your target shooting, basically. Oops, missed that one. Oh, damn it. You see how it's just a little bit off? And you just have like. There we go. So that's that game. 
Those are the only two games on there. Um, I haven't really encountered too much else on this device. Uh, again, uh, it makes a lot of noises. <laughs> this one makes a lot of beeping noises when it wants to play. That's the only indicator of when you know how to when it wants to play. Again, you go to the right side over here, and it's happy. I'm assuming it's full, but I don't. There doesn't have a chart or meters for you to read at all. Other than that. Oh, and then I also made a video um, just with the Japanese, uh, with the new scenes, the new evolution sequence from the episode four of the reboot, and I put the English, uh, uh, you know, uh, English uh, soundtrack, voice track on top of that one. So check that out in the description down below. Um, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And then make sure you hit subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. And hit the notification bell to get notified when I put a new video up. And as always, don't forget to feed your digital pets. Peace.